Hey there everyone, your favorite magical hero here and I just wanted to release a real quick video just to kind of talk about something that I know a lot of you uh, may uh, have been missing out on for some time uh, and that is, if you couldn't tell by the title of this video, the giveaways that I used to do with a lot more regularity. The most recent one was for Valentine's Day which you know, went off, did its own thing, and uh, nothing's happened since, and there hasn't been one for a good while before that as well. So, uh, so there's been some thoughts that I've been having that uh, I felt like I had to share with everybody. So we'll just go ahead and get right into it. And the first is that uh, I, a lot of people, whenever I do a giveaway, will always ask, like, how often do you do them? What, uh, you know, will you do one, another one soon? Basically just a lot of timetable questions, which my answer to those is always, they are sporadic and whenever I feel like I can afford to do them and whenever I can make them more interesting. Cause uh, a lot of the times, you know, I, I just do a quick uh, gift card for say the Nintendo eShop or uh, PlayStation store or something like that, just to throw out real quick. And those do well enough, but like I like to do things with more uh, th th things to keep that are a little bit more eclectic, things that get a wider range of different types of materials. You know, before I've done a Full Metal Alchemist pocket watch or a Legend of Zelda heart container necklace that I I put out for giveaways. So, just to answer anyone who has questions in in regards to that, like. You know, I, I always did giveaways when I felt like they could be a little more meaningful, uh, not something just, you know, off the conveyor belt, so to speak. Uh, but also when I felt like I could afford them because it costs money. And I am not someone who has a lot of money to throw around. Like, you know, I'm, I'm not hurting, I'm not struggling, but, you know, I have a family to support. Uh, and YouTube is not something I make money off of. I'm, uh, you know, I'm very small. I'm not monetized. I don't currently have any kind of like Patreon plans or anything like that. So it comes down to wh when I felt like it was convenient, affordable, and interesting. Uh, which brings me to the next big thing, which is I don't think I'm really going to be doing giveaways anymore at all. <laughs> and the reason the reason for that is really YouTube algorithm based. And and so I'll explain in in more uh, in some greater detail here now. Uh, basically, you know, a lot of people when you put out giveaways and you say like hey to qualify you have to be subscribed, comment, yada yada, that's great for the short term for that immediate moment. However, the YouTube algorithm looks at a lot of things like how many subscribers do you have versus how many of them actually watch your videos. And if you have way too, you know, way more subscribers than what your, uh, your view count and watch time suggests you should have, then the algorithm penalizes you and doesn't push you nearly as hard as it would for, you know, anyone whose those metrics match up more closely. So, a big thing with, with giveaways is that, you know, people will jump on just to take part in the giveaway and then uh, they'll either unsubscribe immediately or they will just stay there forever but not actually engage in the channel in any way, which is, causes a, a huge problem. And you'll notice that, you know, I have over 500 subscribers, my average viewer for uh, at one of my daily Let's Plays is anywhere from three to like 10 on the high end. Now, when I make bigger, like bigger event videos, like my, uh, my review for Legend of Zelda Age of Calamity, that ends up being, you know, much better received. But my day-to-day -day bread and butter stuff is very, very low compared to over 500 subscribers, most of which came for giveaways and then just never did anything afterwards. 
So it's, it's for that reason that I honestly don't think I'll be doing any more giveaways in the future that I, uh, except for maybe some really extreme circumstances, very, uh, glasses are falling off now, except for very, you know, exceptional circumstances, such as, you know, big milestones, uh, a thousand subscribers. I, I'm pretty sure I'll do something to celebrate that with maybe anniversaries. Uh, but other than, than situations like that, I don't think I will be doing any more giveaways purely because of how much it hurts me. Because the only way that I can maintain the momentum of that is, well, actually, let me rephrase that. The only way that it can, it would be worth it for me is if I'm somehow able to maintain the momentum of that and do them repeatedly, which would require me to suddenly win the lottery and have lots of money on hand or get some kind of sponsorship, which is just not going to happen with my size. So that that's just where things are at for that guy. So I, I understand if that's very disappointing for a lot of people, uh, but you know, you, you got to understand that just having them once in a while only to cause that much uh, of, a, of a difficulty for me and make my own attempts at you know, moving forward and growing that much harder is just not worth it. And I would love to be able to give something back to you guys, but I have to actually have something to give in the first place. You see, hopefully you see where I'm coming from. So uh, if you're only subscribed to this channel for the giveaways that occasionally happen, I'm very sorry. Uh, honestly, you would be doing both of us a favor if you just unsubscribed right now. And then hopefully I'll be able to build up to the point where I can make it happen again. But until then, there's not going to be anything around for you if that's all that you're uh, sticking around for. So. That's just what I wanted to, to put out there for everybody. So thank you all so much for watching. Um, I know that that's not exactly the most fun news for a lot of people, but it's something that I had to break out there for you all to understand. So have a wonderful rest of your day, and I hope that uh, you find something to give yourselves a great big hell yeah!